Yo, welcome back, Zykor here. And today in Rune Factory 5, I'm gonna continue on, like, getting, you know, some of the stuff done. Uh, I'm gonna maybe oh, talk to going? some more of the people. I talked to some, uh, be, uh, you know, after the previous episode, and uh, I guess I got the, uh, what, the cooking bread explained to me the you know the blueprint bread so yeah I got that and I can pretty much go buy some cooking bread now or recipe bread there that's what I'm that's the word I was looking for recipe bread and um, uh, yeah I just you know was doing some a little bit of more farm work I planted some more turnips and I was hacking on some of these logs oh, I've got turnips that are done good uh, wait, are they done? Yes, they're done. Okay, that's nice. So I'll pick these. Come on. There we go. Get that. There we go. So that's nice. These turnips are done. And I can get some money off of those. I planted some more of the turnips. The other ones I had bought. So, yeah. So that gives me a little bit more. Um, I'll pick this up, put this in there. Okay, let's see. Okay, not bad. I was thinking about selling this orange juice because I don't really need it. It's only going to sell for 92G. I mean, it does give me 150 HP, re you know, back. Uh, healing, I mean. And RP healing, so I mean it's maybe useful. I guess I could keep it, but it sticks around in my inventory, and it's kind of, you know, worthless to keep on me. So let's just put the turnips in here. Get these. There we go. Okay. Now I don't think I have anything else. Uh, let's see. I'll plant these seeds. Or no, wrong button. There we go. Let's see, um, I got one of these holes, there we go, okay, now water everything, get this all done, now I'll have the, uh, the quest done for Lucy to, that she wanted me to, you know, ship a turnip. Well, I've shipped more than just one turnip, and I'm empty. I'm watering empty slots, so yeah, that's fun. There we go. No, come on. No. no. Okay. Let's see, there we go. And that's probably about empty. Just do that. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, there. Get that finished. Now I should pick this up. Pick this rock up. I should see what else is at the board as well. Um, get this and hack this up. There we go. Now I got some wood. Now I could. Let's just hack this. No wood chopping. Come on, there we go. So gather all of that. There we go. Okay, so estimated earnings is zero, but um, how much did I make? Um, uh, it doesn't actually tell me how much I made the previous day. Okay, so I made 700 G total for now. That's not bad, that's pretty good. So that'll allow me to buy some more crops. Get that. There we go. Get all this random junk that's in my field. Come on. He takes so long to put it in his pack. I know you can pick up multiple of them, but when it's hard to tell when they're, you know, different. So sometimes it's just easier to put it away. Okay, let's check the board here. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, you got this down. Yes, okay, thank you, Lucy. I guess this means I don't have to worry about you after all. Here, have some more seeds to grow as a little reward. Okay, good. 
Spinach wilts pretty easily, so make sure you give it plenty of water. Uh huh. Please check the nearby chest for some spinach seeds and potato seeds. Ah, okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I like hacking chests open rather than opening them because, yeah, it's it's fun. Okay, uh, let's see. So I get four spinach seeds and four potato seeds. These are grows well in from spring to summer, but not in winter. And these grow well in autumn. Grows fast, but withers quickly. Don't forget to water it every day. Okay, so I have to wait with the spinach seeds until autumn. Probably. That would be the best time to grow them. I mean, yeah, I could probably grow it during the summer, I think. As far as I know, you can grow things out of season here. I mean, technically, that's the way it is in real life. So, that's kind of how it should be. Let's plant these potatoes. Because, yeah, who doesn't like potatoes? Uh, okay. No, I'm not using an axe to hoe with. Eh, no, there. Okay. Equip that. There we go. Now. Get that. Get that. Now, I, I'm gonna try to go buy some recipe bread. Oh, wait. Why am I hoeing these? I only needed four for the potato. Yeah, I wanted to try to buy some recipe bread so I can actually start getting recipes. Because I know in Rune Factory games, you just eat bread to learn recipes. It's a little bit weird. <laughs> of course. But <laughs> I guess it works. <laughs> there we go. Come on. There we go. Okay. Put that away. There we go. Now, I don't think I have anything else to ship. No, I'm not taking my sword out. I, uh, did I mention I battled... I found two woolies and battled them, and I got to level 5 rather than level 1. I, I can't remember if I mentioned that now. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. I'll have to go battle the woolies some more, and maybe tame one. Put my, my lumber in. There we go. Now, uh, yeah, I need to actually hit that with a hammer. I need a hammer. Uh, let's put this in my storage box quick because I just keep herbs in my storage box and stash that 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 can I stash those good okay so I'll have to leave those till winter or autumn I mean that would be a long time from now a very long time from now okay head out here oh I need to ship that weed Oh, wait, did, no, yeah. Okay. Hold. Put it in there. There we go. I shipped a weed. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else at the mission board here then? Okay, there we go. So, gift someone a toy herb. And she gives me the cheap sickle. Okay, okay. I'll do that, Hina. Um, accept. Yes. Hello, this is Hina. Zykor, I want you to make friends with more people. Yes, okay, I will. Please give this toy herb to someone to make them happy. Okay, I will. You received a toy herb. When you want to give someone a present, hold the gift in your hands, then go up to them and press A. Yeah, that's usually what you do. Okay, um, now, who do I want to gift the toy herb to? Preferably, one of the eligibles, because, yeah, I want to. Um... So, Priscilla, Lucy, Fuka. Hmm. I only got three of them. So, I guess my choice would be for now, I guess. Oh, let's just go with Lucy since she's probably close. Lucy, you in here? I want to give you a present. Hello. Oh, yeah. Genius. Giving a present to Lucy right in front of Priscilla. Huh. <laughs> That's dangerous. There we go. Sure, take that. Thanks. You're welcome, Lucy. Do I get any reward, Lucy? No, she's not going to reward me. Okay, get in here. Go back to the board. Hina? Can you give me my sickle? Thanks for doing my request, Zygor. I'll give you a cheap sickle I found at home as a reward. Thank you. You're giving me a second hand, Hina. <laughs> now I'm used to use it to cut grass. Ah, okay. If you use it on crops, then you'll get seeds from them. Ah, oh, yeah, that's that's right. I think you do. Please become good friends with everyone in Rigbarth, but you should make sure that you become best friends with me. Of course, Hina. You'll be my very best friend. 
Please check the nearby chest for a cheap sickle. Yeah, okay. I opened to get a cheap sickle and stash that. So now I have a cheap sickle that I don't need to use, at least for now. Okay. So, Yuki now. Buy some food at the general store. Switch between shelves to select different items. Toy herb seeds times four. Okay. Well, I guess I'll accept that. I, I mean, I probably won't grow the toy herbs right now. I mean, I guess spring is a good time for toy herbs. I think they're spring crops in Rune Factory. Hello, dear. Have you gone shopping in town yet? No, actually, I haven't. We have all sorts of lovely shops here. Randolph and I run one as well, although we only sell bread. Well, I will. I was planning to come and buy your bread, so yeah, I will. I just had a wonderful idea. Why don't you come shopping at the general store? There's so much to see there. You should have fun just taking it all in. Um, take this and go buy yourself some rice there. Uh, you're going to make me buy rice? Okay. Your reward is 200G. If you're having trouble finding it on a particular shelf, then you can use RB to search other shelves. Okay. Okay, so general store is... Where? <laughs> That's Elsie's house. This is outpost. Sweet hearth. Like a daisy. The general store. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's just. Uh, no, not that. Uh, okay. I can't actually teleport there? Okay, I thought I could. Or maybe I need to do it a different way. Oh well, let's just run over here. It's right over here anyway. So head up here. And into the side door. Because why would I come in the front door? What are you doing here, Randolph? Good morning. Aren't days like this lovely? Nice weather makes me want to enjoy some fresh bread outside. Seems I'm due for a picnic. I'll have to prepare some, something extra good to impress Yuki at the cooking contest tomorrow. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, that's right. The cooking contest was the next day. Okay, so... um. No, I don't wanna... Can I... Okay, so... Guessing... Yeah, I can pay for the items here. But, um, can I actually look at the shelves? Oh. Come on, where... Uh, let's look. All sorts of goods fill the shelves. I need to resist the urge to go on a shopping spree. But that's what I'm here for. Uh, <laughs> like... Okay. Morning, nice day, huh? Out, huh? For gumshoes like me, this kind of weather is great for doing some legwork. Okay. Welcome. Um, came to chat? Yeah. Tomorrow's a cooking contest, huh? How, I mean, now, normally, my specialty is eating, not cooking. Ah, but this festival only comes once a year, so maybe I should actually try to make something. Well, you know, that wouldn't probably be, be bad, Terry. You probably should. Okay, what do you have for sale? Okay, so all he has is... Well, he has seeds, he has some other stuff. I guess I'm supposed to buy rice. Okay, so she's going to make me buy the rice and then reimburse me. That's basically what it is. What is this? Magnifying glass. Okay. Tool used to check soil quality. Ah, okay. You have to examine fields to learn more about your crops. Uh-huh. And then, of course, clippies. Clippers. I say clippies. The clippers for shearing woolies, I assume. Brush for grooming your animals. Okay, I'll have to buy one of those, but that's going to be expensive. What else do they have? Vegetables. Are you just selling the bamboo shoot that I just sold? Because I think I threw one in there. And then my turnips, of course. Okay, so he sells the seeds, too. I should just buy more turnip seeds. Um, let's see. Um... So add Yeah, let's let's do that. Okay, well yeah, I'll buy that. There we go. Okay, so now rice. So I'll buy one rice. Okay. I yeah, I'm in I need more um, seeds anyway, so yeah. Uh, never mind. There we go. Okay, now I bought that, so let's go out here. And... Head down in circles, because apparently I'm running in circles. Uh, okay, run over here, back to the board. 
I probably could have teleported back to the board, but oh well. Uh, head over here. There we go. Hi, my. It looks like you finished your little shopping trip. Every once in a while, I get the urge to eat rice, but since we usually eat so much bread, I don't often have the chance. Oh, that's probably true. You can also use it to cook simple dishes, so it's useful to have some around. Okay, okay. Rice is good, yes. If you're interested in cooking, make sure you visit Palmo and buy a cooking table. I think I did. I, I think he gave me one for free. Okay. Toy herb seeds. Okay, that's all I need. So, um, now... Let's see. Oh, is there any others? It does say new. Okay. Um... Smash rocks and boulders with a hammer to collect material stones. Then store them in the appropriate box. Reward. Four rocks. You're gonna give me rocks as a reward for hammering rocks? Derek? I mean, like, come on. That's like... I tell you, I shouldn't even take this request. He's just gonna give me rocks as a reward. <laughs> unless he's, Unless I get this hammer. Hey, if you want to start smithing, then you need a strong body. Uh, yes, I do need a strong body. Working with stone is the best way to get in shape. That's why you'll need this. Okay, I received a hammer. Break up the rocks and boulders in your field with this hammer, and you'll have plenty of stone in no time. Okay, good. And don't you worry if you run out of those. After enough time passes, you'll be sure to find more of them. Yeah, I know. They just keep coming back. Okay, put that in. Now, let's... Let's break some stones. Um, let's see. At least I got to keep the rice. Uh, okay, there we go. Hit this. Come on. How much, how many times do I have to hit it? There we go. Okay, well, at least I got a lot of stone. That's good. Um, now. I'd like to, I guess I'll beat this one. No. There we go. Come on. Beating the rock up with a wooden hammer. How does a wooden hammer not break when you're hitting stone with it? That doesn't make sense. Oh, okay. That. What was that? Huh. Okay. Let's see. I'm actually interested. What was that? Um, okay, there's material stone and iron. Oh, okay. Interesting. That gave me iron. Hmm. Okay. Um, hold this. Let's put those down, and not not pick them up. Uh, smash them with my hammer. There we go. Okay. Now put on my axe. There we go. Hit this. There we go. Okay. Just clearing my field. It's better to hack the sticks up and the little stones, because then you get materials from it. At least that's how I'm viewing it. Okay, so let's plant more turnips. Um, let's see. Hmm. There we go. So plant those there. Er, you know, I can't plant turnips in a non-spot. <laughs> okay. Equip that. There we go. I know I have some other spots. I should probably just plant there. <laughs> Okay, so there we go, five. There we go. Take that. There we go. There. Okay, getting those planted. And of course, in the wrong spot. Okay. So, let's see. Next. I'd like to plant those, but it's like, I don't know. They grow well in spring, but not in winter. A fast grower, but delicate and tough to harvest. Uh, eating a full grown one relieves fatigue. Ah, okay, okay. Well, uh, yeah, maybe I'll plant them. Um, let's see here. My field is a complete mess right now. Um, let's see. Let's, yeah, I, I'll plant the four right here. Or actually, no, I can I can plant them right here. This is a nice spot, I guess. No, I'm not going to use my sword to plant. Uh, let's see. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. 
Now, switch to this. Now, um, all I'm doing is planting. Okay, so... Let's go buy some bread. Because who doesn't like bread? Okay, put this away. Actually, no, I'm gonna fill that for next time. Always good to fill your watering can. Because who doesn't like carrying around a full watering can when they're running out into the wilderness? Okay, head over here to the bakery. And head in. Okay. Hello. Hello, dear. Isn't today lovely? Warm, bright days like this put a smile on my face and spring in my step. Yes, they do. Welcome, dear. What can I do for you today? Um, I came to chat for one thing. I'm going to have my hands full making something delicious for tomorrow's cooking contest. Yes, you probably will, Yuki. Okay, so... Recipe bread, please. Eat one of these to learn a new recipe. You should have two left today. Oh, we should have two left? Okay, so they're limited. Yeah, that's probably true. Um, what do I want? Crafting bread, weapon bread, chemistry bread, or farming bread? Or cooking bread? Um, actually, I think I want weapon bread because, I mean, I like weapons. I mean, I want a better weapon than what I've got. That's probably what I feel like I should get. Like some weapon bread, then that'll be eight, 180 G, please. Wow, that's expensive. Um, yes, I guess for now. Thank you very much. Eat one of these to learn a new recipe. We should have one left today. Okay, so another 180 G to give me weapon bread. It'll be 180 G, please. Uh, yeah, it's expensive. Whew. Okay, I'm spending all my money that I shouldn't be spending. I'm afraid we're all sold out. You have to come back another time, dear. Would you like anything else? Um. Recipe bread, please. No. <laughs> she won't be giving it to me. Actually, what did she say? I'm afraid we're also... Okay, yeah. Never mind. You don't have... You don't make enough, Yuki. You got all that bread on the wall, and I, you can only give me two? That's, like... Kind of dumb. <laughs> they have, it's a whole bakery. They have all this bread around. They're even cooking some. But they only have two to give me. Eh. I swear it's... Uh, they're, like, controlling the bread supply. Uh, okay, let's see now. Um, oh, no, I can just... Okay, this. And I probably can just eat that re weapon bread. Let's see here. Hold. Um, eat. I learned how to make amethyst rod. I'll need a forge for this staff recipe. Okay, so I need a forge. Yeah, I'm probably... Getting, eating, I mean, getting things that I don't have to have for now. <laughs> learn how to make an aquamarine rod. I'll need a forge for the staff recipe. Okay. Learn how to make a rod and need a forge. Okay, so I learned three rods. Okay. Let's see what I get for this. Huh, I didn't learn anything. Maybe I lack weapons for weapon for for or forging experience. Nuts. Oh, okay, well at least they um, allowed me to keep it. I think I remember it used to in, like, Rune Factory 3, it used to make, uh... What? I think it used to use the bread. What would you like to do today? Okay, so... I have to make a directive. Let's see. How many points do I have? 727. Okay. Licenses. Forging license. Uh, actually, you know, I actually want that. Because forging is nice. Simple cooking license. I don't really need that. Why do I even need a license for foraging, though? Seriously, that doesn't even make sense. I should just be able to forge if I want to. I don't need a license to do it. Alright. Time to take a license exam. What do you need for smithing? Um, guts and determination. Materials and RP. Friendship and time. Guts and determination. No, actually, it's materials and RP. That's what you would need for smithing. Let's see. Where can you forge items? Uh, at, at a forge, in the baths, wherever you want. Uh, in the baths! Yeah, that would be nice. I could forge in the bath. Because, yeah, somehow you can just hammer things together in the tub. <laughs> no, at a forge. When you have a recipe for a weapon you already own, you need less RP to make it, you use HP and might collapse, you lose HP and gain RP. Okay, so when you have a recipe for you, for a weapon you already own, 
You use less RP to make it, is what I'd assume. That's what I would say. Yay, I did it! Okay. Let's do it! Okay, thank you. I've actually got a forge license, which I shouldn't even need. Okay, I got my forge license. Now I can buy a forge from Studio Palmo. Okay, good. Oh, look at you. Now get out there and use those skills to make something great. Okay, thank you. Um, crafting license. Actually, that would be useful, too. What else is there here? So, just festivals. Okay. Yeah, I'm... I can't. I don't have enough points to do that. Um... Upgrades. Expand bag. Expand storage box. Expand wardrobe. Well, I can expand my storage box, I guess. From 90 to 150. Well, you know, that's not actually bad. Wardrobe? Uh, I don't really need that, I don't think, at least for now. Storage box. There we go. Ha ha ha. I got a larger storage box. Always better to have a nice amount of storage. Looks like you can fit a decent amount of stuff in there now. Just throw in anything that isn't food or crops. Okay, thank you. Expand storage box. Hey, I can do it again. That goes from 150 to 240. Eh, I don't think I really want to make it yet. I mean, I don't have to have that much right now. Okay. Licenses. Let's just... Yeah, let's get a crafting license too, because why not? Actually, I could get both of these. So, fine. Crafting license. Alright, time to take a license exam. To get your own crafting table, buy one from Studio Palmo, become Palmo's newest apprentice, craft it yourself. Honestly, craft it yourself, because that's what it would be. <laughs> Truly, you know? But no. Buy one from Studio Palmo, because that's the way it would be, probably. When you use materials to upgrade armor, it becomes super sparkly. It becomes edible. The materials give it additional effects. Um, it becomes super sparkly, because, yeah, everything has to be sparkly. No. Materials give it additional effects, because that's probably what it would be. If you want crafting bread, buy it from Randolph. That doesn't exist. Buy it from Heinz. Um, yeah. Buy it from Heinz. <laughs> no. <laughs> Heinz would sell ketchup, not not bread. Buy it from Randolph. Because, yeah, Randolph is a chef. Yeah, I did it. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. So now I got the crafting license. Got my crafting license. Now I can buy craft a crafting table from Pelmo. Oh, you yeah, found someone you'd like to craft accessories for? Nothing like making a matching set for you and yours, I say. Uh, actually, yeah. Hey, Elisa, I have a question. What exactly are you? True. What are you, Eliza? Well, that came out of nowhere. Why so curious? I can't help but feel curious. You're a box, after all. That's true. Why are you a box with hair and a single foot? I'm not a box! <laughs> okay, so she clearly states she's not a box. Uh-oh, now someone's sulking. I'll try asking again when things have calmed down a bit. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so she doesn't want to be a box, apparently. Okay, now, um... Oh, one more thing. I'd like to make a directive again. Uh, licenses, simple cooking license, because why not? Alright, time to take a license exam. Okay, what do you need to cook? A man's instinct. A cooking table. A woman's intuition. Well, I'm not a woman, so a man's instinct, yeah. <laughs> no, a cooking table. When a recipe's difficulty level exceeds your cooking skill level, you need way more RP to make it. You can't make it at all. You lose HP and gain RP. Well, you wouldn't do that. Um, when a recipe's difficulty level exceeds your cooking skill level, you need way more RP to make it. Actually, this one is a little bit questionable. I mean, you could say, yeah, you need more, way more RP to make it, or you can't make it at all. Hmm. I'm thinking you'd need way more RP to make it because I, I don't think you just can't make any. Yeah, when a recipe's difficulty level exceeds your cooking skill level. Yeah, I think you just need way more RP. Well, let's just say it. If I get it wrong, I'll... how do you raise your cooking skill level? Okay, yeah, that actually worked, I think. I think that was right. Okay, so how do you raise your cooking skill level? Make a ton of different dishes. Eat recipe bread. Force people to eat your cooking. Force people to eat my cooking. Yeah, 
that's got to be what it is. <laughs> I just, yeah, make dishes and throw it at people. <laughs> oh, that, that'd be weird. Uh, make a ton of different dishes. That's what it would be. Raise your cooking skill level. Yay, I did it. Let's do it. There we go. Okay, so I got that. So now I got all of these licenses. I got my simple cooking license. Now I can buy a cooking table from Studio Palmo. I'd congratulate you, but honestly, I'd be shocked if you didn't pass something this easy. Now go cook up something for that special someone. After all, the fastest way to their heart is through their stomach. Um, I guess that's what they say. Pro cooking license. Oh, interesting. Required to use professional cooking utensils. Okay, well, um, yeah, I can't do that right now. Quit. Okay, there we go. So, head out here. Let's go battle some woolies. Because I would like to grief the local woolly population. Um, let's see. Yeah, my field is fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna head out here. Because I want to... Yeah. Cause some woolies some grief. Actually, I'd like to tame a woolly, but honestly, I don't remember what it takes to tame them. So, the woolies were over here. Quite far in the distance. I had to run a little ways. I keep running along this path. Kind of like what I did last time. And then they're up here. Take a right. I think this was closed in the last episode. But now it's open. So that's good. And then all I need to do is just take my sword out and start attacking woolies. So, Kel Volcanic Region. Yeah, this is the Volcanic Region. Hello, woolies. And then, of course, they're running away from me. How dare you, woolly. There we go. I have to admit, though, woolies are cute. Okay, so, there we go. Now, that get me to level 6. Not bad. So, they give me a pretty good amount of experience. Uh, the question is, how do I tame a woolly then? Uh, what is it? Actually, wait, let's see. Is there a monster dex? Um, oh, longsword recipes. Okay, so I, I, yeah, I guess nothing I can really do on that. I should, I really should buy a, a forging table and stuff though. I really would like to. Okay, so monsters. No monster companions, okay. Oh, quest. Oh, I forgot about that. I gotta go do that. Um, okay, so... Hmm. I wish there was some information on the animals so that I can, you know, possibly... know how to tame them. Easier. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure. They haven't actually introduced me to... Uh, to animal taming yet, so yeah, I'll have to... There we go. Now, I know in Rune Factory, if you destroy these teleporters, or these spawners, they, that won't, they won't spawn any more animals. Okay, pick these up. There we go. Stash that. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Um, let's head over here, gather this. What's this? Oh, okay, RP. I didn't need it. Oh, well. No, I didn't want it. There we go. Um, and then I'll get some of this over here. No. Pressing the wrong button. No, I don't want to throw that. That's mine. Give me that back. There we go. There we go. Okay. Put that in. Now, let's see. Oh, there's a treasure chest here. Ah! Ah, uh, no. Spiders. Get rid of these things. They're ugly. Longsword skill level has increased. You can now perform dash attacks. Okay. That's nice. Press RB to dash, then press B to launch a, into a dash attack. Ah, okay. I have to try that. If you dodge an enemy's attack by pressing RB right before it hits you, then you'll perform a perfect dash, which will cause everything to slow down. Ah, okay, so kind of like the matrix, matrix. Press B during a perfect dash to launch a powerful, perfect dash attack. Uh-huh. Now! Oh, nuts, I'm poisoned. 
<laughs> okay, um... Let's see. I need... Did I get any antidote herbs? I should have some. Antidote grass, there we go. Uh, eat. There we go. Stash those. <laughs> no! <laughs> I have to be careful. Get rid of these. Come on. Ugly things. There we go. Took care of them. Now I did see another chest here. Oh! Where was that? Oh, oh okay. I, I must have picked it up. There is, like, an auto-loot system in here. Okay, let's see. Hey, what's that? Interesting. And no potion, too. Okay. Nice, I found some stuff. Okay, let's teleport back. So that I can... Uh, return home. There we go. Okay, now... Put this sword away so I don't hurt anyone. Uh, okay. Talk to the board here, and have him give me the four stone. Keep at it, and you'll build up all the muscles you need. And you know what they say about muscles? Yes, they can solve any problem. Um, I don't know, maybe, but not a, not exactly any. <laughs> can they? You need a lumber stone box to store material stone. If you ever destroy it by accident, buy yourself a new one at Studio Palmo. Okay, yeah, I know, Palmo gave me one. When you're in dungeons, you can also use hammers to mine ore in order to collect metals and gems. Yes, you'll need those if you want to make yourself some good furniture, so keep an eye out for them. Yes, I will. Please check the nearby chest for some stone. Thank you for just your worthless stone. Eh, I tell ya. That was not worthwhile. Okay, put this down and take out my hammer. So I put that. There we go. Okay, grab that. There we go. Get over here. Put all this lumber and stone in. Okay, I got 25 stone and 30 lumber. Okay, not bad. So now... Uh, did I have any... Okay, no, I don't have anything to plant. Okay, and these things I should probably store... Oh, I should probably store the iron as well. Uh, let's see. Actually, let's go see Palmo quickly and see if I can buy a crafting table or forge. Actually, I'd like a forge. But I only got 290G, so Palmo probably won't sell me a forge. Actually, let me see. Can I teleport to Palmo's house? The blue moon. Oh, no, that's the, that's the bath. Um, let's see. Where is Palmo's house now? Oh, up here? Okay, so, uh, is there, can I, like, I know you can teleport. No, okay, so I can, huh, okay. I'm not sure, yeah, all of a sudden the warp menu is a rig bar. Oh, okay, there, never mind, okay. Um, uh, okay. So, well. It's not much farther than where I am. I was, like, right next to it. <laughs> Actually, it took me farther to... Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see. And this is Palmo's house here. Okay. What did he do to that? It's like... <laughs> he drew a face on the, on the tree back here. <laughs> what is this? Ha-ha! <laughs> I took some stone from Palmo's house in a box that probably shouldn't, I shouldn't have destroyed. Uh, what is this? Let's see. Look at all this lumber. What would they use it for, I wonder? Okay. Ah, uh, too bad. I can't do that. Okay, let's head in here, talk to Palmo. Palmo! Oh, it's you. Okay. Hi, Riker. Yeah, perfect weather for a nap. Oh, yeah. Welcome. We've got furniture for sale if you want any. 
Um, yeah, actually, I am looking for furniture. Came to chat though first. I don't have much interest in cooking to begin with, so I can't say that I'm absolutely dying to enter the cooking contest tomorrow. Oh, uh, that's true. Okay. Welcome, we've got furniture for sale if you want any. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, let's see. I'd like to see your furniture. Okay. Furniture, eh? Where should we deliver it? Um, wait, what? I just want to see the furniture. I didn't want to actually buy any. Um... Yeah, I'll just carry it myself, maybe. Or send it to my house. Okay. Hey, everybody got furniture in that storage area. Come back after you've cleared it out, okay? What? Want anything else? Uh, I'd like to see your furniture. I'll just carry it myself. Okay. Let's see. Chemistry set, forge. Okay, the forge is 3000G. I will not be affording that anytime soon. Crafting table... Okay. Cooking table. Didn't Palmo give me one of those? Maybe. Okay, so cooking table. There's a knife. Frying pan. Wait, each one of these is a table? What? <laughs> like, I tell you, Palmo, he's duplicating tables and just selling it as a mixer and stuff. <laughs> uh, that's, that's crazy. Compact fridge. I'd actually like one of those. I don't have the money, though. Nuts. I don't have the stone either. Yeah, I am taking my time, but I can't afford anything you have, dude, so I think I will not be doing anything. <laughs> I like... <laughs> I like the toys. <laughs> and, yeah, the the squirrel. Uh, yeah. Those are, uh, and, and, and the willy there, too. I'll have to get some of those sometime. Nice decorations. I do like the decorations. And whatever this penguin thing is. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I'm leaving, dude. Okay, so... I'd like to renovate something. Let's just see. Ah, renovate a lot of stuff. Okay, I see. I see. Yeah, I'm not going to be affording any of that stuff anytime soon. We'll leave... Wow, the wallpaper and stuff is more expensive than the renovation. Like, what? <laughs> eh, that's just weird. Okay, curtains for 10000 uh, like, come on. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're way expensive on that stuff. Um, never mind. I don't have anything that, that I, mean, I can afford here. Okay, so, uh, Palmo, let's just talk to you just to say hello. Sunny salutations. How are you this fine day, Zygor? I'm doing just great, Palmo. Say, could you tell me a little bit about your shop? Uh, absolutely, it would be my pleasure, honor, and privilege. City of Helmo is not only a purveyor of fine furniture and first-class cookware, but also your go-to destination when you want to expand any shop in Ringbarth. Ah, okay. Hold on. Does that mean we can go around remodeling other buildings on a whim without even asking people for their permission? Um, yeah, that's that's generally what happens. No, no, my dear Zykor. I'm not talking about a remodel done on a mere whim. We're talking about art. Oh, okay. So, Palmo treats all of it as art. Somehow, I don't think people are going to buy that explanation. But, you know, I, I agree with that. Uh, of course, that's me saying it, so yeah, I, that's what I'm thinking. As the architect who built most of Ringbar's beautiful buildings, I don't think any, adding a tiny addition here and there would cause any problems at all. Okay, so you're still doing it without people's permission, though. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that an unexpected renovation would leave the occupant jumping for joy. Um, I'm not so sure about that, Palmo. I sure hope you're right about that. Yeah, I really do. When someone's abode undergoes a major transformation, so does their heart. Not necessarily. <laughs> well, it, that can be good or bad, Belmo. Uh, expanding an establishment would bring nothing but positive changes to Rigbarth. It's like, or I guarantee it. Uh, you better guarantee it. You sound like the hair club for men. Uh, if you ever have a request that needs fulfilling, we here at Studio Palmo will make your dreams come true. Okay, you better make my dreams come true. Like, uh, like being able to get into the women's bath. Yeah, that's my dream. <laughs> okay, head out here. Now, uh, okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's probably it for this episode. Heading over to the back to my outpost. Actually, I can just hit Y to return home. So it's pretty nice. Uh, I should probably just go out and battle some more woolies. I need to gain a lot more levels. I'm only level 7, so yeah, I need to gain levels and get equipment and stuff like that. Um, let's check that one armor out I got. Let's see. What is that? Vest. Fancy clothing that keeps you warm, also called a waistcoat. 
Okay, well, let's just see. I can equip it, so let's just put it on. It gives me more def. Hey, yeah, not bad. Pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I got a little bit of equipment out of a box. That's pretty good. Yeah. And then I can get shoes, hat, accessory. Okay, so yeah, I'll have to see if I can find some more stuff. But otherwise, I guess that's probably it for this episode. If you like this episode, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It really helps us out a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Leave a comment. And, of course, share it. And if you're looking for a Discord server to hang out and chat in, just come join the Nilusion one. Because, yeah, it's a fun place to hang out, chat, and, you know, make some friends and stream and watch some streams stuff like that but uh yeah thanks for watching i'll see you next time I, I need to probably buy some uh cooking bread so that i can maybe cook something for the cooking festival the next day yeah i'll have to do that <laughs> uh